How's it going, everybody? So this time, I'm back out at the stream that I was at last video. And this time, though, I've got Darren with me. And my goal of today is to get him on his very first wild main brown trout. And maybe even get some wild landlocked salmon and brook trout as well. But since he's never caught a wild brown before, hopefully I can put him on one of those. And then, as for me, hopefully I can get a few more salmon on the fly rod and try to get my first brown trout on the fly. So hopefully, in the video, you'll see that happening. Great place, catch and release only. Flying artificial. Whoa. Almost, almost ended poorly. But. Been one of my more productive streams I go to, so. Always a favorite of mine to fish. Let's see anything? Oh, I see a fish. Alright, let's see if we can get the bite. Yep, one just jumped. That's cool. All right. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, right around now they're they're real active. That's another good thing about these high vis. I mean, right now you can see the flies pretty. Well, yeah, it's over here. benefit of fishing high vis flies is I mean right now you can see pretty much anything really really clearly but in the event that um it's gonna be like a little bit darker of a day or, oh there we go what do we have here brookie got a brookie first fish of the day all right oh got a little oh shoot fall through the net but all right first fish of the day on the high viz got a little landlocked salmon get your wet your hands get him on hey calm down guy come on you're all good make sure to get your hands see oh oh i can I'm calm down so i can unhook him and release him Oh no, get a quick pick for The other thing is right around now, I, I wouldn't typically advise for fishing for them, but because you had a lot of rain and some cold nights, uh, it makes fishing for them a little bit better because it's not too warm out and won't hurt them too much to take them out of the water. So remember, catch and release, let them go. That's how you maintain your fisheries and help wild fish. All right, let's see if we can make a a little two for two action. Clearly, they like the caddis, so. I'm trying to get a big brook trout today, or hopefully a big brown out of this pool, so. But yeah, it's one of the problems of the, the one thing I don't like with my net is the um, bottom holes are a little bit bigger than the top, for whatever reason, but still a great net. But they, if you get something really small like that, they'll Occasionally fall through, <laughs> but yeah. Ooh, oh, I missed that one. Shoot. There we go. Yeah, feel free, man. I tell you, like last time I was here, I got like 30, 40 hits on the fly. I only got like three on the spinning gear. Well, they, they like the caddis, so I mean, if you want to go get that, you know, feel free. I don't know if that other rod's been on the channel before. I think in the earlier videos I had that. It was the um, Cabela's reel setup I've got with the L.O. Bean. Oh, shoot, another one I missed. Got to keep paying attention. There we go, there we go. Oh, I might need to put more gank on that. I think that little landlocked took out a lot of it. But, but yeah, that other fly rod I was... Yeah, probably like Darren Baron's probably gonna end up using that here in a second. That one I, I think I had that up in the first video of the channel that uh nor the main trip I did with Nate. So I've caught a whole bunch of brook trout and then uh I think I think the rainbow trout that I've caught have been on that one too, but But I know with this rod I've caught a bunch of brook trout, I think 
be a half a dozen or so salmon. I think maybe a rainbow trout or two, but my goal is um, try to get every cold water fish in the state with this. Although, I don't know about burbot or cusk, rather. That might be a little bit difficult, but everything else, I could probably give it a pretty good try for it. So, right there. Yeah, there's, there's some big ones in here, so. Yeah, guys, if you're not familiar, this is a pretty good typical coastal mainstream here. Especially at this time of year, so the scenery is pretty nice. I have to snap pick for the background video, the video, but. Yeah, really scenic, really clean, nice cold water. So one thing you gotta note about fishing this time of year, because this is um, the beginning of July, especially now. We've had some pretty bad periods of really high heat, up to like the 80s and 90s. More so in the, co the southern part of the state, but also in the rest of it as well. So, oh, you saw a mink? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I don't know if that got on video or not when I wasn't looking, but mink are basically all aquatic uh, mustelid. So they're relative weasels. Let me see if I can get Darren getting one on video. I've seen people catch them out of that little pool before, so. But. Yeah, so, the reason we decided to come out here today is we had a couple of nights of 50, 55 degree nights and pretty cool days thanks to some rain and uh, good cloud cover. So, water temperatures are getting back down to good fishable, so it's safe for some on it, like brook trout and landlocked salmon. So, I figured why not head to the river today and try to catch a few fish. So. We'll keep walking down until we get to a couple good spots and see if we can get a few more. I'm going to try to get Darren getting one on video. So he's using a little Panther Martin spinner. Which, little small spinners are small and shiny like that. You know, either those, Joe's flies, or anything of that sort usually is good for spinning equipment in here. But the flies, or especially around now, and you got some good hatches. Nice. Chuck on like a caddis fly or a mayfly imitation. I mean, much as love fishing nymphs and stuff, I and mean, you can't beat a dry fly. Let's see if Darren can pull one out of here. Hopefully a nice, what do you think of Darren? Nice big old brown? Uh, I don't know, we'll see, it's cold. I'll probably catch a bass. <laughs> Remember guys, bass are not native to this water, and they want them out. So if, you, if you're a fish. Oh man, clobbering it. So if you ever do catch a bass in here, don't put it back, whatever you guys do. I know we mentioned before this stretches catch and release, but for salmon it's only. So if you catch bass or bluegill have invaded this particular river too, pretty bad. So either of those two, whether it's largemouth, smallmouth, bass, or bluegill, catch them, chuck them right out. All right, let's see if Darren can get a hit. Oh, I've had hit. Oh, ooh, that's a fish. very much like a salmon where they just hit it and then they get bored with it. Yeah, just a quick strike and then dart off. Oh, right there. Let's see if I can get a... Oh! You had one? Yeah. Ooh. This one was silly. Yeah, they'll hold over in deep pools like this in the winter and whatnot. At least downstream, but... Either that or they'll start going to some of those ponds. Maybe try a Joe's fly then? Why? They're bigger than that. Yeah, but they've got a smaller profile. I mean, I've caught, I've caught, you know, some brookies in here on that little size 10 and oh, like... Oh man, he had that. <laughs> here, I'm going to rig this up and I'm going to give it to you. Let's try that. I'm just going to keep the camera rolling because whenever I've turned it off, especially the last video, Usually when I've got a fish, so so I can capture the strike. I'm just gonna try to keep this on for as long as I can. Oh, there he goes. He got one. Well, brookie. Yeah, I think it's a brookie, right? Brown. Oh, we got a brown. Hold on. We gotta get that on video. Shoot, shoot. All right, I can bring it up here. Let me get this on. 
there. Took the net out. Oh yeah, that's a. It all kinds of scarred up there, really. Here, let me get a picture of that for you. Oh my god, look at that. That is a beautiful fish. I mean, yeah, you're gonna want a picture of that. That right there, guys, is a wild main brown trout. Check that out. Beautiful fish. I'm just trying to get this out a little hurt me. You want uh, pliers? Oh, no, they don't go in there. I'm gonna get my net untangled real quick, but let me know right before you go through the release. So that's the second brown I've seen caught out here, and I'm glad I got that catch on video. Oh, I dropped the clip. Yep. For, for trout and stuff like that, but catch like bass or bluegill or. And there he goes. Perfect release. All right. That's how to do it, everybody. Catch and release. All right. Let me know if you get a fish so I can get it on video. Oh, shoot, got that tangled up. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, it's not too bad. All right. All right, gonna start fishing this little chunk here. Hopefully, hope we get a trout out of here. I'd like to get a nice brookie on the fly rod this trip, or get another brown. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love I love fishing brook trout. They're like one of my absolute favorites. But oh, you did? Yeah. No, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Don't need, don't need to hook a dog. And I like hooking into big stuff, but uh, that that's that's not one of them. It's no bueno. Add more. Yeah, I think I need to add more gink. But I'm gonna move over toward Darren and see if I can catch this on video. Oh, another one? Yeah. Try to get my net back up. I'm not gonna try this one. Oh, yeah. Had some good luck in this little spot before, so. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. No, no, Benelli, Benelli, no, no. Where'd my fly go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think I need to put more gink on. Yep, try that. Shoot, Darren beat me to the spot. That right down there is pretty much where I caught that brown last time. Benelli, Benelli! Yeah. I'll over here just because I know this is probably where it's going to happen in the fish. There you go. Well, salmon. Salmon or brown? Salmon. salmon. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, salmon. Yeah. Watch this. Benelli. Benelli. Hey. Go. Yeah, that's one pool you definitely don't want her swimming. <laughs> well, I've also seen snapping turtles near it, so. Oh. Bunch of them stacked up right in here. Oh, we got another one? Oh. Yeah. 
apply some gink to it. Oh, he's oh, oh, that was a good one. Yeah. What? Crushed it. What was that one? I don't know. This right here is where I got my brown last time. I should put a nymph rig on here and try to go with the other side, but. There you go. Darren got one. A little Ooh, salmon. A oh, brookie, I think. Yep, yeah, Darren got a brookie. Sweet. Yeah, I just lost the salmon the cast before. All right. Check that out, everybody. Nice little wild brookie. Don't. Moving back upstream. I want to catch that on anything. Now he's looking for a bird. <laughs> Someone's excited for bird season. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning scenery, really. Really get the photogenic shots and wet conditions like this. All right, head up to the bridge pool and work up there a little bit and then see how that goes. Whoa, what do you have there? Oh, I don't know. Looked like a salmon. Oh, and I just pulled it away from a small one. That was dumb. Looked real silvery at least, so. Oh. I don't have the camera rolling, but got another landlocked salmon. It's about the same size as the one I got before. Easy buddy, easy buddy. Oh, maybe a little bit bigger. I'll have to check the camera footage later to find out for sure. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down. Hands wet, of course. There he is right here. Got the phone pack, that way I can get a little bit better definition of him. And unhook him. There we go. Alright. Release. Ooh. There he goes. Wow. If I can get one this time and actually record the fight, I cool, I jumped a couple times. That's fun to watch. Good to get on video, but. Yeah, maybe that big salmon that guy was talking about. Be a suck, one of the suckers in here then maybe? Does it look more like a brown or a brookie? My way? Oh shit. Oh yep. Yeah.
See a big one? Yeah. Trout. Trout, yeah. Let's try to catch it. <laughs> Darren got snagged up, it looks like. I'd be laughing, but he's using my lure, so can't really be doing that. Let me have one more cast of this for switch off some spinning gear, see if that has any has any better luck. I think that salmon might have got all the gink off of this because it's not staying on the surface as much as I'd like it to. Still see that big one? Probably a salmon. Either that or a real big brown. Molly out of here, guys. So in this river. What? Oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah. Is that a smallie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to net him for you? No. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a good sized trout right there. Yep. Hey, well, this thing's quite hard. Yeah. Yeah, just don't lose them. You don't want them going back in. Sure you don't want to net it? I can come over down to that rock flat and get them for you. Oh! oh broke my line. Shoot. I saw her. Remember guys, if you do land a bass out of here, bonk it on a rock and throw it on shore. IFW and every conservation group does not want you putting bass back into here or bluegill. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it looks like that's the last fish of the day. So if you like the video so far, uh, give it a like. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, also subscribe. And until next time, guys, tight lines.